skeleton is not a sport for the faint-hearted. Competitors experience forces of up to 5G as they hurtle headfirst down an ice track at speeds approaching 90 miles per hour. Sliders use their upper bodies to steer, twisting their head and shoulders to transfer their weight. This is Great Britain's Shelley Rudman. The 32-year-old is one of the world's top skeleton sliders. When you first start the sport, you have no concept of what it's going to feel like. And when I first had a go at skeleton, I wasn't aware of how to really steer the sled. And it just, the, the speed just built up, built up. And I wasn't in control at all. And it really, really took your breath away. Hailing from Swindon, Shelley moved to Sheffield in the north of England seven years ago. Transworld Sport traveled to the city to catch up with her during her preparations for the upcoming skeleton season. After being introduced to Skeleton by a friend back in 2002, Shelley was initially overlooked for the British squad. However, it wasn't long before the selectors realized their mistake. I never really anticipated how technical the sport was going to be. I was very much of the public opinion what a lot of people think at the moment is that you just get on a sled and go down and that's it, it's the fastest one to the bottom wins, but it isn't. It's, it opened a whole world to me of, you can change the technology with the, the equipment, you can change your physique to make you sprint and more powerful, and then you can learn all the different tracks around the world and all of those together can make you a better slider. Skeleton places huge demands on the body and Shelley works hard to maintain her physical condition throughout the sport's lengthy off-season. A successful push start requires the explosive pace and leg strength of a sprinter, while driving the sled at high speed puts considerable strain on an athlete's core muscles. Mark Campbell is the senior strength and conditioning coach at the English Institute of Sport in Sheffield, where Shelley trains. The thing that impresses me the most about Shelley is just her competitive drive. Um, she doesn't naturally fit in this environment really, um, it's part of what she has to do, but if you make something competitive with her, she, she performs amazingly well and it's something I've seen, I've, I've been out and watched them compete and Shelley's got just that little bit extra that when she steps on the start line, she gets she gets that little bit of extra boost from something inside. She's just a very determined individual. In women's skeleton, the maximum combined weight that's permitted for competitor and sled is 92 kilograms, with the sled contributing a maximum of 35 kilos. Fluctuations in an athlete's weight can have a significant impact on their performance. Shelley's build puts her consistently at the lower end of the scale. If she's a bit heavier, that means she's got a lighter sled, essentially she can then, by pushing a lighter sled, she'll have a faster start. But there is the balance between making sure she's got that optimal weight to get a faster start, um, but also she has to have the right sort of weight to, to maintain downtime when she's actually on the track and steering the sled down the course. Shelley has been one of Skeleton's foremost sliders since claiming a silver medal at the 2006 Winter Olympics in Turin. But her greatest successes have come in the past 18 months. After several second-placed finishes, Shelley earned her first ever World Cup victory in the 2011-12 series. And in January of this year, she recorded her finest achievement to date by winning the 2013 World Championships in San Moritz, the spiritual home of Skeleton. The approach to that season was very different to all the others, so I really didn't worry about performing or underperforming on the World Cup as long as I stayed within a good spot on my British squad to be selected for the World Championship. And then when it came to that main event, everything came together and I was totally focused. And I did so much background work to be prepared for that race, but it, it was just a dream come true to, to become the World Champion, and particularly at that track. 
Shelley's gold medal was the first for Britain's women in skeleton at the World Championships. Five years earlier, Kristen Bromley became the first male British skeleton athlete to achieve the feat. The pair met soon after Shelley took up the sport and are now engaged. With no skeleton track in the UK, the couple train at Ice Sheffield during the summer months, practicing their starts. Shelley and I, we were always there to support each other and um, you know, when we're watching each other's training, whether it's here at Ice Sheffield or in the gym or especially out on the ice, then uh, you know, we're there to support and help and sometimes an outside perspective can just you know, uh, be worth its weight in gold, just a few words here and there and just put you back on track. I think it's really good that we both compete in the sport just purely because we can you know, relate to each other and it's quite an intense sport where we go away for five months travelling and to experience that together is amazing because it does put a lot of stress on other couples who are apart from that, that amount of time. And we also train together as well, which is really interesting. We're, we're highly competitive between us. To compensate for the lack of facilities in the UK, Shelley and Kristen rely on technology and innovation to level the playing field with their rivals from icier climbs. Kristen is a qualified engineer and initially became involved with Skeleton through designing sleds for the British team. The Bromley sports company that he runs alongside his brother Richard is now one of the world's leading suppliers of racing sleds. Shelley and Kristen regularly test out the firm's latest products in competition. Okay, so this is my race sled. So this is what I actually compete on, on the ice. This is why I actually won my world championships on this year. These are the runners which are in contact with the ice. So we choose different race runners for different ice conditions and different tracks. For protection, we wear race helmets. So they've got a, a built-in chin guard. We have different tinted visors as well for different weather conditions. We have protective gloves so that we can grip onto the handles through all weather conditions so they don't slip. To allow us to run on ice, we also need grippy spikes. So these are a pinned bottom, so they give us a lot of grip and they're very much like sprint athletic spikes. They're specific for skeleton. And then, most importantly, we have our speed suit. Stretchy speed suit, which is aerodynamic and literally hugs our bodies so that we can get the most efficiency on a run possible. In 2007, Shelley and Kristen had their first child, Ella. Along with Kristen's parents, she accompanies mum and dad on their trips abroad during the skeleton season. Ella brings a whole different dynamic to our life and, and something that's very welcome and uh, you know we love her to pieces and, and she's part of our little team. So that brings us a lot of strength um, and it actually more importantly gives us a focus outside of competition so that when we come back, whether it's on a high or a low from a race, there's somebody else there to divert our attention to and um, she certainly she certainly does that. You know for us it's it's great because we compete you know it can go good or bad but then you, you've got to change your thinking because you know you've got to make dinner or you know take Ella on the school run and, and do all of these other things or Ella talks to us about it it's quite a busy lifestyle but we've been able to do it and it's really important for others to see that you know it's possible to you know lead a normal life normal life is skeleton. <laughs> Motherhood has provided Shelley with an important focus outside of competition, but the coming season will see her mind set on qualifying for the Olympic Games in Sochi next year. Great Britain has an impressive pedigree in Olympic skeleton, and the country has earned a medal at every Games the sport has appeared in. Shelley's last appearance at the Olympics came in Vancouver in 2010, where a poor first run saw her finish sixth as compatriot Amy Williams took gold. Sochi offers Shelley another chance to improve upon the silver she won in Turin seven years ago. Yeah, like I, I would just be so privileged just to be there and representing the country at third Olympics, which not a lot of people get to do and to, to have that opportunity to go for another medal again. But do you know what? If that didn't happen, to me, it really, really wouldn't be the end of the world. And I think people put so much pressure on people to win a medal, and if you don't, it's, oh my goodness, but I've won everything, you know, apart from the gold, but I'm still happy with my silver. Um, and 
I think if I could walk away with a smile on my face thinking that I just trained as hard as I could to get here and walk away knowing that, then I'll be happy. Regardless of what happens in Sochi, Shelley Rudman will remain a legend of women's skeleton and one of the most successful sliders to ever take to the ice.